Yo, GD here, to Linus, and we're just gonna load up this game right now, and it is F1 2016. Amazingly, and this footage is from a guy called Vandal.net. So thank you so much for letting me use this footage. This is gonna be some F1 2016 China gameplay in the Ferrari, which I believe is Kimi Raikkonen, if I can read that correctly on the screen. And we're just going to be just talking about it. It's just my first initial thoughts, having played it myself back in March, and just how I feel it's changed and what I think of it, and a lot of other stuff as well. If you want to ask me anything as well, um, post it in the comments below because you know I'll respond to those. And I just want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you like about this? Um, do you initially seeing this? And what you don't like as well? Um, just give me your thoughts and what you're most looking forward to in the game and everything as well. But for this... Looks like it's in the daytime editor, so it's definitely not in uh, the, the midday saying, definitely not. I'd say it's probably in morning. It looks like it's in morning. It looks like they've changed it up a little bit since I played it in the morning. Um, I think when I played it, it was uh, quite bright, really, really bright from the morning and the sunset as well. And the glare, as you can see from the sun there, um, when I played it, it was really, really bright, not blinding, so you couldn't even like, see the corners. But it looks like they've really toned that down. A bit, and I think aesthetically, um, it looks really, really nice. The track, the, the surface of the track is, is shiny. You can see the racing line building, and when I know when your tires, or when you go throughout a race, you start to have marbles, and yeah, the track as well. Um, so the car looks really good as well. Really liking the look of the Ferrari. Um, I really, really like that because when I played it. We didn't actually have the liveries over the car. We had like the 2015 uh, liveries. We had obviously the 2016 handling, but we didn't have the um, 2016 car look. So this is really, really nice. This is a first for me uh, for seeing this. So the track itself has definitely, <laughs> definitely changed uh, quite a bit. There's a lot more detail um, from when I played it. But um, a few things to note of the throttle and the braking um, down the right hand side. Um, that's a really, really cool thing. And for me personally, that's something I'm really going to exploit uh, just through set videos and tips. And especially if you watch leagues or racing or anything like that, or you want to get better and watch good players, then um, that's a really, really useful tool uh, definitely to definitely to look out for. And you can see this guy. Don't think he's the best player in the world, if I'm being honest, actually watching him. And by the way, if you want to watch the original video, that is in the link in the description. Uh, if you don't want me to talk over this, you want to hear that I believe he's Spanish, um, the guy who's speaking over this originally. Um, so if you want to hear the original video, more of the sounds, uh, don't want to listen to me talk, um, then feel free to just uh, watch the original video, which I put down below. But um, looks pretty good. Um, looks like this guy's on the controller, just looking at the note for steering. You may be tearing your hair out a little bit thinking, oh my God, this is really, really twitchy. But trust me, it's nowhere near as twitchy when I played it at least uh, recently, um, and um, when I played it in March, um, it's very smooth if you're smooth. So if you can smooth, if you are smooth, and you can move it slowly on the sticks or on the wheel, well, obviously on the wheel, you can, depends how quickly you turn it, but on, on the control at least, definitely less twitchy than um, 2015. But this guy here, looks like he's really stabbing the steering into the corners. Looks like, so we can see this, let's see what he does here. So yeah, it's, you know, it's, you can automatically see that it's not as twitchy as 2015, which is something I personally really didn't like in last game. Even though you, you, I could still be smooth-ish, um, it may just start so to be corners, particularly uh, very, very difficult to just get a rhythm through the corners. Um, so on this, it's definitely an improvement. And the handling, as I said in previous videos, is definitely an evolution of 2015. It's not a completely brand new handling model. Um, but it is uh, it's a lot better in my opinion because as as you guys know, as I said before, I really wasn't a fan of the handling in 2015. I was probably one of the only few people um, who actually really didn't like uh, the handling in 2015. Um, and from playing this when I went there, um, I actually fell in love with it and it felt like it was almost one of the best handling handling um, F1 games I've actually played. Obviously, when it, till it comes out and how it feels then, I can make my final decision, but... From playing it and what I've done so far, it felt um, really insane. But looking at this, I'm really liking the look of um, the graphics, the track, um, the car itself. There's been a few questions about the T-Cam, about the helmet maybe being too big, 
or something like that. Some people were <laughs> exploding on Twitter about that. For me personally, um, it's not a big deal. Um, I can still see the wheel at the top of it. I can still see his hands are. And when I'm driving, I don't know about you, maybe for wheel players it might be a little bit different. But for me personally, I'm not really focusing on actually on the wheel. I'm actually looking really at the nose of the car or the apex of the corner coming up. Because instinctively, you know how much you turn on the controller, that how much it's actually going to turn itself um, actually in the game. So that's not really a massive deal for me. And you can see the DRS as well. And it actually builds up and before you get to the DRS line. So it actually lets you know. Which is, uh, no, I think it's a good thing for me. Um, the, the challenge aspect, I probably would rather have an option to maybe turn that off um, to really just make you really having to know exactly when you put it on. But it's a really cool feature to have. And it's good for other players if people haven't played the game before. So you can see Kimi Raikkonen has come in first place around China, which is one of my favorite tracks of mine. See the animation here, um, looks pretty cool. Drivers actually look like the real drivers, 2016 in the background. So yeah, that looks really, really good. Can't really take too much from the handling on this one. I believe this guy is probably using assist. He wasn't using a racing line, obviously, but um, he was definitely probably using traction control and ABS because from my personal experience, it's a lot harder than that um, <laughs> when you're playing the game. So I'm pretty sure he's definitely using a few assists there, but um, you can see now we're actually in the R and D or with your agent, which is a new aspect of the game. If you haven't watched Arrow's re video recently, which I'm sure you have, um, in Korea, you get your own agent now. So she runs through like your contract um, if you want to switch teams and everything as well in the R and D. And the career mode this year will be insane. And I'll definitely be doing a career mode for once. I know I've said it so many times, but I will definitely be doing a career mode because you could do a 10 year season so you could potentially get a mana to the number one spot um which is absolutely insane so thank you for so much for this video and i'll catch you next time